Hey guys, welcome to my installation tutorial for how to run FBCNN on Windows. And in this tutorial, I will be using my GitHub repo fork instead of the original one because I have slightly modified it and made it easier to work with. Yeah, let's get started. First, um, you will need to set up environment. So if you don't have Anaconda 3 yet, you can go download it here. And we just need the individual edition. And after you download it, you need to open up your anaconda prompt and then you want to set up the environment so you come here conda create fpcn oh copy the very first line let me zoom in a bit there you go what all right um it says i have one because uh, i was testing with that one i'll just remove it so we can be on the same page all right um, and then after you finish creating environment by proceeding here, you can activate your environment here. And next you want to install PyTorch. If your computer is 30 series, uh, Nvidia GPU, you have to use um, this command. If you're not, you have to use this one. And if you don't have an Nvidia graphics card, you have to use your CPU, you have to use this one. So let me copy this one paste it here now we just gotta wait proceed all right after that is done you scroll down and we have to clone and basically download this repository so you go to a folder where you want to download this repository at. i'm gonna name it fbc and then here i'm going to this tu uh, tutorial folder of mine and we just you can either download here or you get clone if you know how to get clone um I'll just drag this to unzip. And then I'll like to rename it to just FPC and then that'll be faster. Alright, um next uh you have to go into this folder and you copy this file directory and you want to CD it into CD your anaconda prompt into this file directory. If you're on a different disk, you have to switch disk. And now you can proceed with pip install. After pip install is done, we're gonna set up the checkpoints. So we're gonna go here to download these files. I already have them, so there's this one thing. You gotta go into model zoo and then drag and drop them there. Then I just gonna rename it to remove the one. Oops. This is what happens when you have two copies. All right, um, now we're basically done setting up the environment. So if you want to test results, there are four kinds of tests you can do. So color JPEG, real world JPEG, um, grayscale JPEG, um, grayscale JPEG. So I think you guys are going to only be interested in the real world JPEG images. So you got to go to um, your root, which is FBCNN. Go to test sets, go to real. And then you see all these images, right? These are all the test images. So I'm just gonna remove these. Uh, actually, I'm gonna keep this one. This one, this one shows the most difference since it has a white background. And I'm gonna drag and drop another one. And yeah, you just copy this line after you drag and drop your inputs here. Copy this line, paste it, and then. We gonna wait for a bit. All right, after that is done, you can go to go back to your root and go to test results and then real FPC and then color, and they'll give you different QFs, which is really nice. So you got the original, you got the more QF it goes up. Uh, wait, okay, this is ten, this is thirty, this is fifty, this is seventy, this is ninety. This one's pretty hard to tell in this image. Let's, uh, let's try this one. So this one is original. This one is 5. This one is 10. This one is 30. Oh, you can start seeing the artifacts. And this one is 50. And this one's 70. This one's 90. So the lower, the stronger, basically. So this one basically lost all the... Or the black dots, you know. Alright, yeah. <clears throat> That's it for this tutorial. It's pretty straightforward.
um if you like what i'm doing you can consider supporting me through my main youtube channel or my patreon and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one